Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk about, well, Dream Fusion. Now, this is a tweet by uh, Ben Paul from Google, or as you can see, Richard Scientist at Google Brain. Uh, and this is a text to 3D. Yeah, if you want to now use lots of text to image like Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, this is text but to 3D objects. Now, uh, this is an enhanced version of uh, what was previous uh, Dream Field. Uh, which is a method for synthesizing 3D objects from natural language descriptions. Now, one of the main differences is that, well, Dreamfields actually used OpenAI's Clip technology, whether uh, Dreamfusion uses uh, Imogen, which is uh, kind of uh, Google's kind of competitive product to uh, DALI E2. And as you can see, this is uh, the main website. See, unpresented photorealism, deep level of language understanding, Google research, brain team and this is a text to image and the great thing about it that no three data was actually needed to generate it as you can see as mentioned by ben paul and if you go to this website the github.io uh, you can see the 3d models and browse it yourself you can see the 3d model in the browser so you can rotate it you can see the text that would use to generate it and you can rotate it around and three and view it from different angles now, if you're impressed by it, of course, just imagine how fast things develop. So just imagine, let's take it and multiply it several times. You'll be able to not just create 3D objects, but by text, uh, animate everything. You can create a whole scene. You create, create games. You can create even a full movie by just saying what you want in the scene. Now, again, let's imagine you are a game designer, all right? Oh, not game designer, you're just a person who wants to create game with no pre, uh, previous knowledge in programming or graphic design. You can just define, for example, the character that you want to have uh, very precisely. Then you can just define the animations and create different type of uh, animation, uh, for example, for shooting, for jumping. And uh, you can then uh, define even logic just using your natural language, what will happen if x and y and basically you're going to create a game that you can actually test and see how it works but just describing things in your own language now of course you can take it even further and just we'll have an ai that can just generate games entire games on its own but just giving a description you give a description detailed description what you want and imagine an ai creating an entire game by just your description imagine that so, for example, when you generate, for example, an image, some see, see people say like pixel-like, uh, you know, a uh, cute anime girl. All right. So imagine something like create create uh, create a video game uh, uh, similar to Battlefield, for example, 2042. Nobody wants that. I'm just saying. Uh, even with just single description, uh, the AI can actually understand you know, uh, things about related to the game and can generate something similar. But of course, we are talking about things that are much more comprehensive in terms of descriptions. So you have more creative freedom to create the game that you like. But things like that are not something out of, you know, my imagination. Well, actually they are, but the thing is that they will become reality and m faster than you can actually imagine. Now, in the shorter term, you can think about things like that replacing to some degree the uh, 3D model stores, right, where you buy uh, assets for your game. Uh, of course, think about much higher quality, of course. Uh, this can easily replace those, or at least to a very high degree. But it doesn't mean that you won't be creators. <laughs> of course, AI can generate lots of things and, uh, you know, it's going to be like crazy because, again, you can just, if AI continue to generate things, uh, and of course it's going to be open, you're going to browse for millions and millions. You're going to find whatever you like. The question is, of course, there will always be place where some people just use the tools to generate some really crazy stuff that you're gonna like and you say, oh, I want actually what this person was actually creating. But the thing is, they're gonna be an AI that we're gonna learn also from that ones. And you know, because AI, we just learn from himself and continue improving upon what we are creating, like what we're doing right now. It's all the data set being used from many other images that are being created from so many other people. So it's just learning, right? It's not learning from nothing. It's learning by things that we, actually created now just think about how much it will reduce the cost of making video games right especially for for example indie developers uh want to kind of uh, try to get things you know on a budget and you know those 3d models will be offered well in, essentially for free at some point right uh so 
uh, they'll be able to have those 3D models without actually paying for the high quality ones. It can really cost a lot, by the way, if you visit a 3D store. It can be very expensive. Uh, and they can generate yourself. They can even generate entire scenes. Even right now, there are lots of generators that are being used, by the way, by developers for creating very, you know, if you want to populate a very expensive uh, scene for an open world game, for example. Developers are still using tools that generate stuff, right? But when you have an AI, you can still be able to generate. The AI can even generate an entire world, open world, high quality, but just a description. And you think, no, nah, it's never going to be the same as, well, don't underestimate the AI. Basically, many things that I maybe now are kind of, uh, well, we saw them only because they came from, well, specific professionals and companies. Uh, we'll be able to do things ourselves. So, for example, uh, as I mentioned, making games, high quality games. You can do this with just describing things. You don't even need to know how to program, how to create 3D models, how to design. Just let AI with simple input or maybe more complex input depends uh, to create things for you and it, you can even make for example imagine youtube with ai just creating videos like crazy it's like millions of videos ai generated for example you know those videos of cats and dogs and those cute videos that you always youtube recommends you can create things automatically using ai uh, and will create something photorealistic of course and uh, if you're gonna have for example you can create any type of animal that you want you can create a little dragon, you can, whatever, all right? You'll be able to create video, videos of that and describing what actually happens. And you'll have an amazing of those cute videos that go, uh, that YouTube just love to recommend. There's going to be millions of them every day. So I wonder actually how th these things will change. But when we are talking about things, we need to move out to the real world. This is where the big change is going to take place. Not on the 2D screen, uh, not just in virtual reality, in the real world. But definitely you can expect content to be much cheaper and developers can create even things faster uh, for apps, for games, and so on. But let's take it to the next level. Why limit ourselves to 2D and 3D? Let's take it to mixed reality to the real world. And of course, when you take AI to the real world and you can apply things to everything around you, everything will change. Because then you can do whatever you like with your reality basically metrics like right you can do everything everything around you you can change you can modify you can delete delete you can remove you can do whatever you like you don't like how your friends look well just you can change them the next time you see them they're just going to look like something else you want them to look like a pokemon you don't want to hear them look at them at all you can just delete them for the world now the cool thing is that we want actually ai like computers that help us do things to manage everything for us so actually at some point you won't actually need to do anything we just let it ai do everything even if you think about, well, I'm just going to create that game. Well, AI probably will know what you want to create. Or at least we're going to give him a little hint. And we just create it for you. You don't need to think. You'll be passive. Let AI just do everything. But I have to be honest with you. I mean, I want to be real. I want it to be now. I want to control my reality right now. I want these technologies to be here now. As you know, I actually made this channel quite a long time ago. Several years ago, I think. Uh, what, five years ago? Uh, and, you know... I thought that this technology would be there by now, but I probably uh, was very optimistic. And that being said, I'm taking step by step. I'm going to really enjoy, of course, uh, those uh, text to 3D. Once they become more mature, it will happen very, very fast. And just try them all together, even without them being a you know, mature product. I just want to try them all, see how it goes, you know, try to be creative with it. For me, I really enjoy the in-between, you know, the creative process. Uh, uh, more than anything so for me just trying things trying to create with those tools will be amazing and that's about it by the way for you in the comment section tell me go crazy what do you think will be there 5 10 20 years from now when it comes to these ai technologies and mixed reality technologies get crazy really really crazy you need to get crazy because otherwise you won't nail it try to get crazy let me know in the comment section below how do you think those technology will shape our life our daily life and the things we can create with them in the comment section below, waiting for your comments. See you on the next one. Cheers. Living life every day, let it die. Not okay, all I want.
and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it's squeezed till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, hear, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day Late at night, not okay All I want, and I 